so here we are in London for our annual visit for a rally of radio listeners. We love America, we love all the opportunities that America has granted us, uh, but we love England as well. And one of the great sorrows that we had in leaving our native land was the sad spiritual state of the United Kingdom. We are concerned that the church is being persecuted in small ways, is being marginalized, and uh, it's a wake-up call for the church. One of the things that my parents have always tried to do all the way through their ministry life is to travel to people to take the truth to them. But there's only two of them, and they can only be in one place at one time, which is why media is such an incredible opportunity for us. Traveling the world, having that privilege, and meeting the next generation and the generation after them. Imagine therefore our intense delight when we heard that for the very first time there would actually be a Christian radio station operating here in the United Kingdom called Premier Radio. Uh, telling the truth have been with us from day one and it's been a great ministry and, and the ministry works um, because it's really authentic. I mean, you can see, you, when you talk to these folks, what you hear on the radio is what they are in the room and they are in the pulpit. It's just solid. Well, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So Jesus and truth are synonymous. I thank God for the way that we preach the truth because it is about Christ. Preaching the truth about Christ and sharing God's love and grace. I'm very excited to be on Telling the Truth, a means of getting words, words about God and our faith all over the world. Now we're heading into Australia. The five capital cities of that great land are hearing Christian radio for the first time ever and Telling the Truth is there in the second most secular country on the planet. Very much impressed and I really rejoiced in the message of Stuart of the Briscoes. Uh, about Ephesians 3 when he spoke about Paul, the Apostles to the Gentiles for the body of Christ and it's Christ in you, the hope of glory. This is our message for today. Watching my parents, observing them, uh, they were mentors to me. I got to see them pastoring and leading a church as that church grew exponentially. Went off to college, went to seminary and then Libby and I moved to Dallas almost 20 years ago now and we've been there leading Ben Tree Bible Fellowship for a number of years. The church is God's chosen tool to take Christ to the world. And then this last year, they asked me to consider taking over the leadership of the ministry. So now I'm officially the president of the ministry. As we look into the future, my heart's desire is that we continue to clearly and expositionally preach God's word, pointing people to Christ, uh, not just in the U.S., but all around the world. Our heart's desire is that millions of people all around the world would truly experience the life of Christ. And we want to see him do that through Telling the Truth Ministry. The messages are always timely. There's a grace to it. It's not hard on you. <laughs> it's wonderful to get old and to be able to look back over the years and see that the seed sown so often brings forth fruit and brings forth abundant fruit and brings forth abundant fruit that lasts. Jill, I'm probably about, it's probably about a million other ladies behind me that can say the exact same thing I'm about to say, which is um, Jill is an absolute inspiration. An absolute, like, without sounding extremely corny, which this is, I want to be like her when I grow up. And I want to encourage all of you that think that you just sort of diminish as you get older. Mm -hmm. Your spiritual heart, your vision, your passion doesn't mm -hmm. age. Your relationship with God doesn't age, save to get and better, like good work. They have uh, impacted uh, my marriage. I've been married for three years because uh, uh, the way they teach uh, as a family and uh, the way Jill, for example, really connects uh, with my wife, uh, I thank God so much uh, for, for, for them and also for their son. Now we are older, we think of verses like Psalm 71. Even when I'm old and gray, do not forsake me, O Lord, until we declare your power to the next generation and to the generations to come. Can I be really honest with you? If you weren't helping us, we couldn't do this. The only reason this is happening is because you're encouraging us, you're praying for us, you're supporting us financially. So thank you from the bottom of our heart. I want you to know it's really making a difference. And I want you to really be encouraged 
as you continue to support us uh, because we're taking the truth to the world. We're introducing people to Jesus. Churches can introduce hundreds of people, thousands of people to Jesus, but through media we can see millions of people introduced to Christ and experience life in Him. And that's our heart. Thank you for being a part of it. We proclaim the truth to the next generation and we're sowing seeds and that's what you can do when you support telling the truth telling the truth for the next generation. You are sowing seeds and we just want to thank you.